Could you help her adapt to life outside and reduce the risk of her reoffending? An extraordinary job, done by someone like you. What a huge responsibility, though. Anna, isn't it? Yeah. If you can be that person that changes someone's life, just do it. So, Ollie, how did you feel when you had your first meeting with an offender? Like the first Ooh, time? I, I mean, I'd worked with offenders before, so talk, like knowing how to come across with a meeting, yeah. I think I had that kind of that skill, I suppose, you know. And I think you know it, it didn't it, it didn't make me feel as nervous as what I probably would have done if I hadn't worked with offenders before. Yeah. So I think it, it you know because you have to be a certain type of person, you have to have that skill to be able to you know to be able to engage people. Mm -hmm. And I think you know it, 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 it you you can learn that skill. But, you know, it, it, I think it, it's the, more the setting that made me feel a bit uncomfortable because I didn't know the setting yeah. as well. And obviously you're with somebody because you shadow people for a while as well. So you kind of have that. So you might have, your first meeting on your own with someone might have been somebody that you've met before because you've oh, shadowed so, yeah. somebody Your with first them. meeting, but yes. you've been in that environment with yeah. them. Got you. So do you think that you are given like the relevant skills to be able to... Uh, I think so. I think you can't, you can't, Develop or the training on top yeah, of your own yeah. skills. Yeah, I was going to say you can't develop, you know, empathy and you can't develop, you know, communication skills, really. I mm -hmm. don't think you can, mm -hmm. but I think you've got to have it in you before, yeah. you know, in the first instance. So I think, you know, th that has to be your grounding. And then obviously things yeah. can be built on top of that in terms yeah. of like your training and, and everything else. And like within our environment, it's about learning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. The job and, and all the different skills. That and this get. job, and they'll be the same with you guys as well. This job, it's never, you never know everything. Oh, because, no. Because, no you know, every yeah. day, you, there's Completely something you come right, like, yeah. What? Okay. <laughs> and then you have to ask. You yeah, know? well, you do your prison officer, and your, your power out training. You do that, it's just, I think it's 13 weeks now, including shadowing weeks. And it gives you, it tells you how things are and what you do mm. and why you do with them. But until you're out there yeah. doing it, you yeah. it's a bit like learning to drive, isn't it? With the instructor, yes. and then all of a sudden yeah. you're, you're on your own. You're on your own, and it's like, yeah. oh, hang yeah. on a minute. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah, it is exactly yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah. I think with the guy at the start, you ca I can't work out if he's trying to sort of hide things that he thinks are an issue. So a neck mm. tattoo, yeah, historically yeah. seen as yeah. or tattoos mm. on show. I mean, I've got a bit one there, but usually you, you don't. Back in the day, I think yeah. back in the day, like I'm an old man, don't show me. He <laughs> seems like he's like, I'm not happy about that. And then he's fidgeting with yeah. a, an old phone behind his hand. I don't know if you're trying to tell us something yeah. with these cues, or is that, are we seeing that he's fidgety? Yeah. So is he actually, is he suffering some substance yeah. misuse or something? Yeah. Is that what we're trying to pick up and from this? Also, I noticed there's a tag there as well. Yeah. yeah. I missed that before. Um, How so... do you assess someone that sat in front of you? presenting themselves as being, oh, hang on a minute, this might not be acceptable. Yeah. yeah. I've just got, obviously his phone is on and it's like he's just received a text. Yeah, yeah. Um, like someone might have contacted yeah. me. So how would you assess in that situation whether or not he is suitable yeah. to Su still be... Suitable for the community or just yeah. in tag? Yeah, that's what or... we're saying about yeah. suitable for okay. the community, isn't it? So that's how I've understood it. It's, yeah, yeah. Assess whether right. it's suitable to go. Yeah. yeah, it's all about we we use this thing in probation. I don't know whether you guys use it in prison. Professional curiosity. It's quite a big thing in in uh, HMPPS. Yeah, I don't know. Heard of it. yeah. I, we, we, yeah, I've heard of it, but through workshops as opposed yes. to actually being. Used I haven't heard of it. So it, it's basically yeah. professional curiosity. It's, it's about asking the questions to you know in a, in a certain way to get the answers. So if you're if you need to find something out. You know, the worst thing you can do is ask somebody straight out, right, are you doing this? Because yeah. it puts yeah. them straight off. Yeah. So, that open so, so, so yeah, so, have you been occupying your spare yeah, time? Yeah, exactly. So it's about do, you know asking those questions, but in a way where you're not prying for answers. Okay. So what you know, what have you been doing with yourself? Like you said, you know, have you been occupying your time and that kind of thing? Because then they they're a bit more relaxed. Because if you go and ask like giving them quick fire questions. They they they, they, they close, close up. Down, yeah, sure. absolutely. So is, all, is that all part of your training as well? Yeah, you get to yeah. So okay. yeah, you you right. get to um, and and I call it the nosy questions because in our job you, it is it's professional curiosity, but effectively you are being nosy because you need to ask you yeah, know those you questions. You need to know what those answers yeah, are exactly. without asking him direct yeah, yeah, yeah. questions. But exactly. Ollie, what a huge responsibility though. I know, isn't it? Yeah. But. I think you know it, it's it's good because you've got lots of other agencies that you work with. So you like know, who? 
we work with accommodation agencies, we work with employment agencies, we work okay. with emotional wellbeing agencies. Could you help assess if he's a risk to those around him? You can't take it personally because obviously you're trying to help them and if they don't want to engage and don't want yeah. to, you know, that, that that's their, you know, it's effectively their decision, isn't it? And I think, you know, um, you can do as much as you can, but you can, you can take a horse to walk, but you can't make it drink. You know, it's that, yeah, yeah. that situation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And I think that, you know, you can only do what you can and you just can't take it personally. But the ones that you do help and the ones that you do rehabilitate, they're your wins and they're, yeah. they're the ones that And you've that got to remember that. You've got to remember to, yeah, that win, exactly. haven't you? Uh, I, yeah. I remember when I, yeah. I, I got that, right? Yeah. I made I've that situation. Before, yeah. and, and I always, even if, you know, you, you work with some people who go back to prison time and time again and you get them time and time again, and even though you've tried before, you know, some people, you can't give up. So how's everything been going? Going all right. Managed to find a job. Then Paul has just been released from prison after committing a violent crime. Ollie, how do you build your relationships with your um, offenders? I think, again, it's about being open and honest. Um, I think it's about being um, calm and approachable because I think, you know, you have to be approachable. You know, if you're approachable, they feel that they can come to you about anything. Yeah. Um, I, again, I always say, you know, um, I'd rather know about it from you than find out about, you know, somebody's yeah. committed a further yeah. offence yeah, or, that, yeah. you know, a, a done something that they shouldn't have done. I'd rather them tell me about yeah. it than hear it from the police or from somebody yeah. else because yeah. then, you know, we can always deal with it. Get um, ahead of it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I know about it. I'm expecting the call. I can put measures in place. I can, you know, yeah. assess risk again to make sure that it doesn't happen again. And um, so I always try and have that relationship with my offenders so that, you know, they can, you know, come to me, but also, you know, try and create like a calm atmosphere as well. And, yeah. you know, just because I think that's really important mm -hmm. because then they're more likely to tell you things and mm -hmm. open yeah. up, you know, because men, we all know it, but they don't, <laughs> we they don't, don't talk. Do we? Don't, no. don't talk. And, <laughs> you know, I think it's important to talk because, yeah. you know, it, and creating that environment for them to be able to talk so that, you know, then, you know, they know that you're there when, when they need you, you know. I think you've got to, you you know, you've got to be empathetic. I think empathy is a massive, a yeah. massive part of the job. Um, as well, you've got to, you've got to engage with them because, you know, you, you want them to work with you. So you've mm. got to show that you're willing to work with them because, again, it, it works kind of both ways in terms of, you know, yeah. You, yeah, you're working as a team, effectively, yeah. aren't you? And I think if you're, you know, if you're showing them that you're there to help them, they're more likely gonna, yeah, okay. you know, like not okay. judging. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, where we are. It's, it, you know, I always say like, I'm not here to judge you. That's already been done. You've been to court. You've been to prison. Yeah. Or you've got your, you know, you've got your order or whatever. Um, and um, I'm not here to judge you. I'm just here to work with you so that we get, you know, everything done that we're meant to, you know, every yeah. requirement or every, you know, you stick to everything that we need you to do. Yeah. Once you're done then, you know, I don't want to see you again. Um, <laughs> no, but it's good that you mentioned <laughs> that. In the nicest yeah, possible way. way. Yeah. 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 Well, we see that in the prison. Uh, say, that's I what I was going to say. Again, please yeah. take that with yeah. the reasons. Yeah, and yeah. Then, exactly. I won't see you again. Why would I? We don't want, we don't want to be offended. Yeah, we don't want exactly. to see you upset and struggling. Yeah. So it's the same. Yeah. We, we've, we've got you to where you need to be. We've yeah. put everything in place that you need. And obviously we, we put license conditions in. So, we, you know, we have to, whatever their offence is, you have to, we have a system that we go on and, and, and put their offences down and yeah. what, what's led to it, if there's any kind of substance misuse, alcohol misuse, and it gives you ideas of what license conditions you can put on. Because obviously we can't just put on, oh, you know, this person can't do this. Yeah, because just, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, for the, yeah, yeah. just for the sake of it, there has to be, it has to be proportionate to yeah. their yeah. offence or the risk of them coming out in the community. So would you be encouraged to take the role? Having seen that, I yeah, yeah. I would, yeah. and and having been here, the, like you know, yeah. it, it, obviously you know, if if I knew what I know, I would have definitely yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Tammy has just been released after a long prison sentence. Guys, do you ever think about what happens when offenders leave prison? Often, do you? Yeah. Literally Often. all the time. Yeah. The good ones, well, you know, the ones that you've had a good relationship with or everybody. Yeah, everybody really, because with the, in the YCS, it, they teach children. Yeah. So we ne we never get, we if it was the adult estate, you could have life as you got them for 20 years. So you know yeah. that this is what their life is for us. We always know there's an end point that yeah. they're, they're either going to go to HMP so we won't see yeah. them or they're going out. 
So when they leave, because we spend there's such a focus, and rightly so, that we build relationships and get to know them and show them that there's a better way. I think, um, I could be wrong, but from personally, I think that the work that Youth Justice Workers Prison Officers do in the, uh, and YYs is more about getting a personal relationship yeah. with, with the young people than it is the punitive measures. Yeah. So you care. I mean, we, we you have to care. We're supposed to care. But I think that the level of care is very much like a family care. So it's a father and, yes. and child. So when they go... You really want to know how they've got yeah. on or what they're doing, yeah. um, and even the the real troublesome ones that causes a lot of trouble. You want to know just through, or probably a, m- a morbid curiosity. Yes. Have, yeah. have they reoffended? Yeah. I wonder where they've themselves. ended up. Have yeah. they behaved themselves? Yeah. Because those are probably the, the more formative years: fifteen, sixteen, yes. seventeen, eighteen. Because mm-hmm. we've we've got this. In fact, there's a lad in now which I won't name. We've had him since he was fifteen. He's now eighteen and a half. I've seen him come in basically prepubescent yeah. to now being a young man. man. Yeah, and yeah. the relationship we've got with him is fantastic. And he's actually going to HMP as opposed to HMP you because he's still got some time to do. Um, but he was a lost cause at 15. Mm. He'll spend the rest of his life in prison is what people would say. Mm. And now the, I'd like to think the work personally and the work we've done as an establishment, he will go to HMP because of the, the length of his sentence. But I genuinely think that he won't yeah. be coming back, and I don't think I'm naive in thinking that. Yeah. If you asked to people in my establishment, they'd probably mm. be back with that that yeah. young man now that we'd got. Had he been left on the streets at 15, mm. which is basically where he was, probably be drug dependent, yeah. petty crime, probably even worse than petty crime. Yeah. So in a way, yeah. prison's actually saved, saved him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. genuinely think this yeah. is one of those stories, yeah. and it's not not unusual that age that we've now got. We had a kid that's now a young man. Yeah. That understands authority for the right reasons, understands that people in authority care and can give you something back. Yeah. And he'll impart that, hopefully, on whatever young family that he may have yeah. in the future. Mm. And yeah, that sounds very much like I've been given a line to say, yeah. and it's not. Yeah. You, with this, there's definitely, definitely a, a, a child there that's become a young man that yeah. will be a functioning member of society. Good. I've absolutely no doubt. Good. And yeah, I think all the time about the ones that go, I think there's something wrong if you don't. Yeah. Because I don't fake care, and yeah. nor should any of us. No. So if you care and then you don't see someone, and, yeah. why would you not be? Yeah. Wondering yeah. yeah. It wouldn't because make sense to in not that person as well, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, so, totally, you, you yeah. know. So what would you say to a person that's interested in joining the probation series after watching those adverts? Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. You know, if you can, if you can be that person that changes someone's life, just do it. Stephen, what would you say to someone that has watched the video and has sparked an interest? Do it. One hundred percent. It's the most rewarding role career I've ever had. I've had before this. I did the same thing for about twenty years. Before that, I went from job to job to job, and I've absolutely found me this. I'll be in the service now until I retire. It's the most rewarding, especially with the age group I deal with, the mm-hmm. children. You see 15-year-old prepubescent sometimes, you turn them, you see them become young men, mm-hmm. you see the change in them, and you know because of the factors of a prison, i.e. it's all inside, we've made a, 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 a high contribution to the change in that person's character. So if you've watched that, you've seen the reality behind what being a prison officer or a youth justice worker is, and you think it's for you, then get on it, yeah, it's, okay. it's yeah. genuinely, absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, the, the best thing I've ever done. And I already advocate to my you know, friends and family that you, you, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can do this, you've got yeah. the skills to yeah. do it. Every time every... the job comes up, I always forward it on to people that I think <laughs> do really well. Yeah. 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 Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, yeah. I've been in the service um, for 15 years now under different... Um, hats. So I actually started off as as an instructional officer. Yeah. Um, prior to that, I was in the education, and I cannot ever ever see myself in any other role. Yeah. I absolutely funny, love it. it. It's yeah. funny. Yeah, it's me. It's, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It, it suits me, me as well. Yeah, yeah it's me. Because because people do ask me why, how how do you do it? You know, yeah. how do you work with people that have offended? And I just say, well, like it, like you work with people that you know. Yeah. It's just exactly, yeah. exactly the same thing. Same. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. Go for it. Whatever job they're doing, they could be there. They could be working with ex-offenders. Well, exactly. You just don't, just know, don't it. know that. And you yeah. think they're fantastic 100%. people. Because they are, they're, they're ex-offenders, they've yeah. done it. You know, yeah. Everything that you're seeing yeah. is exactly how it should be portrayed. Yeah. So you're yeah. under no illusions yeah. that you've got a multitude of jobs that you should be doing, a multitude of hats to be wearing. Yeah. 
and some of them will be very difficult. And it, yeah. it kind of also reiterates the fact that how we all work together in terms of like, you know, you, you might work in a prison, I might work in the community, you might yeah. work in a prison. But that story and, behind but, that yeah, person. That, it's, a, it's a journey for that person, yeah. isn't it? You know, doing the time in prison to coming out in the community, yeah. doing the rest of time on license mm. to, you know, mm. ultimately... And when they're in the prison, yeah. what are you providing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that emotional support. From, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all there. All of us are there. Yeah. Um, we're like a big wheel, aren't yeah. we? We've all the different spokes and yeah. we're, or the centre point is yeah. the, the people that we yeah. work for. 100%. Yeah.